Hi, everybody. Welcome to Patriots Happy Place. I hope that this recording will work a little bit better than what I've been using. I've been getting a, a couple of um, comments that for some reason my um, the uh, audio was not loud enough. So I'm hoping that recording this way, let me bring it a little closer, that this way uh, recording it on StreamYard and just kind of like posting it will be a little bit better. Um, please let me know in the comment section below um, what you are experiencing. So this is going to be a wrap up. I had originally intended to do individual um, um, updates on each of these projects, but I thought, well, I, I don't have... <laughs> To tell you the truth, I don't have the energy to do it more than once right now. So I thought I'm just going to do it all at once and we will um, play it by ear. OK, so um, the one thing I am not going to include in this one is my weekly yarn highlight. I will do that in a different video. So here it goes. Um I wanted to give you an update on my fruit garden. Um, so to just to um, catch everybody up, I am working on a fruit garden crochet along. Now, I'm kind of like just doing it on my own. I know that uh, Dana from Wanderlust Crochet is working on it with, uh, with some of her um, viewers. Um, and I know it was a crochet along years ago when um, Janie Crow actually put the pattern out. Okay, so this is the book that I actually bought. You can download, I believe it's a free copy on her from her website, but I decided to get the actual book because I actually like having a pattern in my hand. Although... I will say that it's very difficult to follow the actual written pattern because um, it's all written in uh, UK terminology. So that's kind of a mm, not so much. But what I'm doing is I'm actually following the um, the chart that I have okay, that's in, included in the book. So I'm just following the chart and that's that's working for me. So um, I had, I was supposed to do eight squares of what is called the forget-me-not. And this is the original, just a little flower. Okay, this is the, this is the original, not original, but how do I say it? This was the beginning flower. And then all the rest of it was going to be the background. And so I did finish six out of the eight. And I think they turned out so beautiful. Now, I am not using um, the original yarn that um, was suggested in the original pattern. I'm using uh, different kinds of uh, superwash wool and uh, wool blends, um, all three weight. And um, some of them are uh, Barocco, some of them are Valley, uh, Haydenville DK. Um, I think I have one, um, I think this, this little, the white part around here is a, um, um, I believe it is a Hobby Lobby yarn. Um, but anyway, so I finished, I only have two more to go, but one of these takes me, to do all of the around the outside takes me about well, a good evening. I mean, a long evening, a couple hours, because I'm really counting and making sure I got the the right um, the right number of stitches. So here in the before the end of the month, I should you know I've got several days. I got a week. I should be able to complete the rest of you know these two and have these finished. And then we're on to the next square, um, which there's only four of this time. So it won't take me as long. Um, so that I am happy about. Um, so it's coming along and it's working out where I'm doing one flower per month. So, I mean, you know, like one um, flower design per month. So that's working out pretty good. 
I've got my Merry and Blessed. I think, this is just my opinion, but I think Merry and Blessed could be all winter long. Because, you know, I can be blessed all year round. But the Christmas tree is definitely for, for you know, the winter months. Mm. And it's not really just a Christmas tree. It's a it's a, just an evergreen tree. It doesn't have anything on it, so I can get away with it. <laughs> okay, so if you recall, I am I was going the the designer of the month was Tony Lipsy from TL Yarn Crafts, and I was working on a. Um, a hat called the Mesa hat. And I had completed this hat. I don't know if you remember, but this was one hat and I had wanted to go on to other projects, other designers. And I thought, well, you know what? I completed this hat. It didn't take me all that long. I love the pattern. So I did another one. How about that? Now this one, I I actually um, used a pom-pom uh, that I bought from uh, Joann's. And this one is one that I made. And I do like the stiffness of this particular one. This one is a little bit floppy, but hey, it's all right. It's all good. It's all good. So I made two of those Mesa hats. And I'm, you know, I'm rather proud of myself. I learned a new, um, I learned a new stitch you know, that was um, Tunisian and I had wanted to do Tunisian. So yeah, that is done. I'm so happy with that. Okay. So the next thing I want to talk about is my temperature blanket. Now, <laughs> I, let me go over this again. <laughs> Now, let me let me see if I can figure out my hair here. But my temperature blanket was what I was going to be working on for Mr. Happy's um, colors. OK, now. My my goal with this is to weave in. It was to weave in all the ends. OK, then I thought that's taking an awful long time. I don't know if I want to weave in all those ends. So I figured out how I can do, uh, um, a, make it straight across, and then I'll do a enclosed border. However, I went back to my original thought that I'm actually going to um, weave in the ends. I haven't done any on this side, as you can clearly see. And I've, I've done about half of this side. And it looks really nice. And um, I think I'm going to continue doing that. I have not worked on this for a little while. Um, it's something that, you know, I I know I can complete if I just set my mind to it. But it's not a, a big rush. Okay. It's been waiting for a year. <laughs> it's, well, not quite a year. It's been, it's been a while sitting in this bag with all the, with all the yarn in it. But um, regardless, I will work on that. Also, um, probably starting here as soon as I get done showing you the rest of the stuff. So, okay, here's the deal. I decided I, I had gone back and I watched Tony Lipsy. I love her. I love her. For those of you that don't know who she is, TL Yarn Crafts, she is such a wonderful soul and I just love her. And um, um, she did a temperature blanket in 2021 and I just loved the design. And so I decided I'm going to do that for myself. So I'm making myself a temperature blanket and I put together all of the colors that I love. Okay. That are my favorite colors because it's going to be me and it's going to be this year. And so what I did was, um, I used blues and purples and pinks. Okay. Those are, I think those are my favorite colors. Although, you know what, now I'm starting to like greens too, but Let's not go there. That's just one more thing. So I want to show you, I'm not going to show you what each 
thing represent what each yarn represents. Just know that I'm starting with the blues for the coldest and the pink is for the warmest, okay? The lightest pink. So it's going to go from the darkest blue, go through up to the darkest purple, then the lightest purple, and then the darkest pink to the, or I can't remember. I'm sorry. I can't remember how I did it. Um, no, opposite. Light blue is the coldest, then the warmest gets the darker, and then the darker purple to the lightest purple, and then the lightest pinks to the darkest pinks, okay? So this is my darkest purple that I have, and all of these are Stylecraft DK, and they're a mess because I had, there was a little bit of yarn barf every single time I open up a Stylecraft, it's yarn barf. That's one thing that I do not like about Stylecraft. But anyway, so this is the darkest purple. It's called Emperor. Um, here is one of the purples. This is um, Lavender. And then we have, um, we have, what's this? Um, Wisteria. Then we have violet i think this is violet yes violet and it's violet so so far here's some of the purples as you can see um we've got um magenta that's in the pink category this is yarn bar <laughs> okay so this one is clematis this is it's the color of a flower, of course, and I'm using that as my lightest purple. Um, then we have, oh, this is a this is a huge pink. This is fuchsia, and this is, I mean, in your face pink. Um, then I have fondant. Here, I'll put, the, what am I using here? I'll put the pinks kind of together and I'll hold them up. Um, and then I've got candy floss and raspberry. So these are the pinks. Okay. And then these are the purples. And for the blues, I have just three blues. I have cloud blue, and this is, I believe, denim. Yep, denim blue, denim, and this is royal. So I've got these three colors for the blues. Then every single one, I haven't even told you the design. Oh, heavens to Betsy. Well, okay, so the designs are squares, and every... Every day is one round of the square. And I'm not going the same way. I'm not going around and around. I'm going around and then coming back around so that it doesn't look wonky. And I'm using the linen stitch. Every middle, every center of every square is going to be white. And this is just the plain white from Stylecraft DK. Okay? And then if, and, and each one, the um, like, for the days that have 31 days, I'm going to end it after the 31st day. I'm going to do one round of white again. So it will begin and end with a white. And if the, if the month has less than 31 days, whichever, however many days it, it, it's lacking, um, it will end with more rounds of white. So, um, yeah. Anyway, that's the way it's going to look. And I've got the first 17 days done of January. And this is what my square looks like. Isn't that pretty? And you can see that this blue, that's the, that's the only blue I've got in this particular um, in this particular square. That was the coldest day of the month, which was... And there's actually two rounds of it, and that was 39 degrees. That is very unusual for Kentucky. But 
So that is my first square. And of course, this is only, like I say, 17 days in. I still have, um, you know, the rest of the month to go. I've got a couple days to catch up for this month. But um, so it's going to be, you know, it's going to be a good size square when I'm done. And then every month, like I said, it's going to be a different, you know, different square. And when I put them together, I'll do like January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. So it'll be a nice, good size square. I did not gauge this. I figured whatever size it turns out, that's the size the blanket will be. And I can always add on more, um, you know, more um, of the border if I want to make it any bigger. So I am so excited about that blanket. It's coming along really well. So I got the temperature blankets I, I talked about. Okay. Now um, I'm working on, so that's two blankets so far that I'm working on. Blankets, guys, blankets. I've got one more blanket that I'm working on. And I'm not in any rush to do this blanket. I'm just doing this one as a palette cleanser. That's the good word I want to use. It's my palette cleanser. And I haven't worked on it in a while. But this is my Bronte Ripple Blanket. And for the life of me, I still can't remember who did it. I'm going to make myself a note. Got my pen out here. And I'm going to be writing who is the designer who is the designer so i can make sure that i put it in the um description box below okay i'll put a link to that so this is the bronte ripple and i'm using five different colors i'm using um this royal blue um this um, um multicolor hold on the multicolor is the Super Saver Jumbo uh, Macaw. And um, this blue is the I Love This Yarn. White is I Love This Yarn. Then this denim color blue is um, um, Big Twist. And so is the gray. So it's going to be just a lovely little blanket. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to working on that and I'm just going to keep going until I run out of yarn or it's as big as I wanted it to be. <laughs> I am not particular in my blankets, y'all. I just, whatever happens, happens. It's a blanket. It's a blanket. <laughs> so, um, and I'm not even sure what I'm going to do with that blanket once I'm done with it. Now, I know that the temperature blankets are going to be Hours, you know, so it's just a special little memento for each of us, um, Mr. Happy and me. But um, I don't know what I'm going to do with that one. I might, I might donate it. I'm not sure. I've got, I've got two bins over here to my left um, that um, I, I'm probably going to be donating. That has got hats and scarves and cowls and a couple of couple of smaller blankets, you know, just little things that I, I know I'm not going to be using around my house. So there's that. So, um, okay. I want to talk about some of the projects, the other projects that I've been working on. Now, um, I did, um, in a previous video, um, I told you all about this, um, um, pattern. It's, um, oh, the, oh, this is Pamela's adoring crochet. Hold on. I know I have, I put the pattern right here. There we go. Pamela Barton from Pamela's adoring crochet. She designed this and it is in the, um, I believe it's the February, 2022 crochet world. And she used um, a three weight yarn and, and it was a um, um, color changing type of yarn. Well, I have, I have been having this on my shelf for 
a couple of years now. This is Belief by Petra. This is the um, uh, the colorway I designed and Melissa from uh, Crochet in Agreement had put together for me. And I will link her, um, her Etsy store in the description box so that you can check this out. Now, this is the acrylic. She sells acrylic, um, cotton, and wool. And um, she's even got one in there now that has got glitter in it. So, and she's also got different uh, weights of yarn too. So yeah, any color way that you see that you like, you can ask her if she has that particular weight available and she can whip it up. And I'll tell you what, guys, she has the best prices bar none for her uh, superwash wool. Um, yeah, I know she's not making much money from, from these, uh, you, these dyes. So anyway, this is how this is turning out. Now it's kind of busy and you really can't see the pattern, but, um, I am loving it. Let me hold it up a little closer. Well, actually, let me do it like that. So I guess I could block it. But again, this is this is acrylic and um, yeah, it's just going to be um, it's just going to be a, a however long <laughs> again, as much yarn as I've got. I'm just going to keep going until I run out of yarn. Um, at first, I thought, oh, I'm going to make a big wrap. I don't know if I have enough to make a wrap, but if it is, it is. If it's not, it's not. But right now it's definitely big enough to make it like a really thick cowl, you know, like I could sew it together here on the side and put it over your head and it would be a really thick cowl. But it is acrylic and I'm thinking, you know, that'll be a really pretty weight for those in-between months, you know, like the summer, excuse me, the spring and fall. Um, and uh, even in the summertime, sometimes, you know, you get into a restaurant or something. And um, I always like to have, in fact, I made my mom one of these, um, a wrap in, in, in a really pretty, uh, her favorite color. And I would keep it in the car so that if we were to go into a restaurant, even though it was 100 degrees outside you go into a restaurant and that jolt of the air conditioner sometimes causes our bodies to do some really weird things you know what i'm saying so having something in the car that you can just take with you and just throw over your shoulders in a restaurant or in a movie theater you know or even in a store some of these stores are kind of cold too so anyway that is my um that wrap. And what does she call this? I, I apologize. I'm, I'm not very good. It's just called the berry wrap. That's what Pamela called it, the berry wrap. So I'm just going to keep plugging away at that until I'm done with it. I don't know. It's another one of those um, palette cleansing. <laughs> okay. So the next thing I want to talk about is Ogo Colorama Halo. Guys, I am like hooked on this yarn. I'm like literally hooked on the yarn. Um, originally, I got a couple of purple and a couple of green. Then I went back and I got more green and another blue. And th that's that's what they had. That's what I wanted. And then I realized that I am so love working with this yarn. I've got to have more. And it I don't know as if they're going to be bringing it back. You know, I mean, I asked the lady at, and in Joann's, I said, do you know if they're going to be restocking any of this? You know, if I'm ever going to be able to get these colors again? And she says, I don't know. We haven't heard. Um, yeah. And, and they've, they're on, they're on like, they're not clearance, but they're on like an end cap for $5.99. And they're originally like 10 bucks. So what did Miss Petra do? She went and she got more. So I got four of the pinky color 
cranberry color. I got four of the sky sky frost or something like that. It's a, like a blue multi changing, and yeah, I got those. <laughs> and I am thinking I have to go down um, in that area of town again today. And I am thinking I might have to go back in there and get the rest. Yeah, I'm, the only color I'm not like keen on is they have like a, a a mocha color, and I'm not sure I really care for the mocha color. But they had two yellows, they had a couple more pinks, so I don't know. I might go back in there and clean up, <laughs> just depending, because I go in and because I'm part of the healthcare worker, healthcare worker community, because I do work for a doctor. He might not be an MD, but he is a doctor. And so I get a discount and it brings it down to $4, $4 for one of these. And there's like, let me see here, how many yards? 481 yards in one of these Colorama halos. Okay. All right. I've, I've, I've said enough of what I'm going to say about that. I got another pattern. I went on and on Etsy and I got onto 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 Jeannie from On the Hook Crochet. I got onto her Etsy store and um, I ordered her um, Outlander shawl. I love it. Okay, so let me show you how far I've come. Now, before I do that, I think I gotta see if I find a well, I've got to be real careful because I don't have a stitch marker in here. But here's how far I've come. <laughs> Look how beautiful it is. Don't you just love those color changes? Oh, it's so subtle. It's beautiful. And this, guys, isn't even a full. I still have this much left from the first oh <laughs> from the first circle so i could i could still make it bigger yet and i'm thinking i probably will because well first of all let me see if i find let me see i thought i had had a there it is you got to have these stitch markers laying all the way around you know um, so here we go. So here, let me see how big, um, yeah, so it's going to go, it's going to cross. So I'm going to have to use another one anyway. But my word, isn't it just beautiful? And it's so soft. It is this yarn. If you haven't um, um, seen the review, I did a review on this yarn. I just love working with it. Um, I'm sold. I love this yarn. It is, it is my equivalent to a lot of people's, um, what they like on, in the latte cakes. This to me is better than latte cakes. I love it. it. The for me, the latte cakes leaves a little bit of a. I don't know. It feels a little bit funny after I get done working with it, and I'm not sure what it is. But there, it leaves kind of like a little film on my fingers, and I don't like that feeling. So anyway, that is what Petra has been working on. Um, yeah, now just to recap, um, this is the last full week in, um, January. So next week, um, once February starts, I'm going to start all over again with a new designer. I'm still looking for, I've got an idea of what designer it's going to be, but, um, I have uh, a new designer 
coming up that I want to feature. Um, I will have, uh, I will be working on the temperature blanket continually and the fruit garden. I will be starting the next section. So um, be looking forward to those um, videos in the future for next month. Um, what else am I going to be doing? I'm still going to be doing the yarn reviews. Guys, I have so much yarn that I want to work with. Um, I went ahead and I emptied out another bin from over here and I put it over onto my shelf with all my yarn and I'm finding, okay, it, yes, it feels a little bit cluttered, but if I don't have it out on my shelf, I do not feel inspired. And that is really big for me. Um, I, I can see, you know, that I have certain yarns. I have enough yarns of this or enough yarns of that to make something, um, a, a project, whatever that project might be. Um, I'm looking into doing different kinds of patterns this year, which I'm excited about. Um, I really want to try a couple new things. Um, I'm looking into the idea of, now it's more than just an idea. I'm already, I have to tell you guys, I'm so excited about this. I am going to be partnering with someone. I'm doing a collaboration of sorts where I'm going to be designing a project and I'm going to be choosing colors and designing a yarn and I'm going to be design. I'm going to be partnering with this person to um, create a kit, and I'm so excited about it, guys. I really am excited because um, this will be my first attempt at like a collab, and if it works out, um, I've already got ideas for future projects. And um, I'm really, really excited about that. I, I'm, I'm, um, yeah. And, but at the same time, it's like, I want to finish these things that I got going on. And I still want to work on area 59 back there. I still, 51, 59, where'd I get nine from? Area 51. I still have uh, a lot of projects in area 51. I want to complete, um, and I already found one project, guys, back there on my UFO shelf that I'm going to frog. In fact, I don't even like the yarn that I was working with. So it could be one of those things where I, I frog it and I find something else to make with the yarn. Or that yarn is going to sit on my shelf for a while. Yeah. Um regardless. And now after I bought all those Ogos, I got to make something with those. Those are so amazing. So many things, so little time, right? Yeah. Okay. So what else have I got going on here? What have you guys been, been watching? If you guys been, um, watching anything specific, um, on TV, on Netflix, on Hulu, on Acorn, Britbox. What you guys working on? And and um, do you crochet while you're watching TV? Can you? Or do you prefer to listen to music? Do you listen to audiobooks? Um, I do all my crocheting while I'm watching TV. If I'm not watching TV, I'm not crocheting. If I'm not watching TV, that means I'm reading <laughs> and I'm still reading the same book. I haven't finished it yet, but I'm so close. I know I'm going to finish it today. I know I'm going to finish it today. Um, and that's called um, Words with Fiends by Allie Brandon. And it's such a cute little mystery. And I love it, guys. I'll have to, I'll have to do an update. When I finish reading it, I'll have to do a quick update because that book is just so sweet. And I love the fact that the author is so um, clean uh, and, and, and 
what I mean by that is there is no foul language. There's no, like, there's nothing sexual in it at all. Um, there might be like a little attraction, you know, or somebody looks nice or something like that, but there's nothing like that in these books. And they're just wonderful reads. I just love stuff like that. Okay. So I have been working uh, on go going through Mr. Happy and I, um, his, one of his favorite shows uh, on TV was house. So we've been working our way through the very beginnings of house again. We haven't even finished the first season. We got plenty more to go. And this is what I've been working on watching house. Um, and then we've also been going through one of my favorite shows um, that I watched years and years and years ago, long time, long, long, long time is Monk. And so both of those um, are on Amazon Prime and we have been um, kind of, you know, working our way through those. And like I said, I've been I haven't been doing a whole lot on um, other than my uh, that shawl and every once in a while um, that multicolor shawl, that berry wrap and also. Um, I did a little bit of this and a little bit of that, <laughs> but, um, yeah, that's what I've been working on it. I've just been having a good old time. Um, there is not much else to talk about today. Um, I'm surprised I haven't gone an hour yet. Not that I want to go an hour, but I'm surprised that I haven't gone an hour knowing how I talk. Um, yeah. So anyway. If you have any questions or comments, um, if there's a series that you think you'd like for me to do, I know that um, a couple times on Grace, Gab, and Yarn, um, Deb and I have talked about different things. And if there was something that you had um, heard us talk about or you just wanted me to um, go into a little bit more detail about, I would be, I would really like to hear that because. I'm trying really hard to uh, find out what you guys would enjoy. Um, there's so many channels out there that offer so much more than I, I can ever offer, but I don't want that to deter me from giving you content that you want to hear from me. Okay. So if you like, if you're liking these, um, uh, yarn reviews. If you're liking me talking about the projects that I'm working on or the designer of the month, if you have suggestions for a designer, if you have patterns that you would uh, recommend to me, um, whatever it might be, please let me know. I will try to incorporate them. Um, yeah, I mean, they don't take much time, right? <laughs> it doesn't take a whole lot of time to sit down and, and show you a yarn. But um, yeah, anyway, that's all I've got to talk about today. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, whatever day it is that you're watching this. And we'll talk to you again real soon. Bye now.